Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2014 release of Han Solo and Stormtrooper of the Skies from the Blue Line. Pretty cool looking figure. So this was a gift. This was part of a Star Wars Black Series goodie box that was sent to me by Palpatine 1975. That box traveled 10,000 miles almost and everything inside was in pristine condition. I will link that video below, but be sure and watch this video first. I tell you, for pre-photo reel, that face is really not bad. And being part of the blue line, it comes in this box, large window. You can see Han's helmet. He's got an E11 there. Got a nice picture of Han there. Down there we have number nine, Han Solo, Stormtrooper Disguise, and Star Wars The Black Series down there. So on the blue line boxes, there's a large window on the top. There's nothing on this side. Large window on the side, bottom, barcode, the Hasbro logo, and some distribution information for Australia and New Zealand. And there's the back, Star Wars The Black Series. You got a little bio there. Nice looking picture of Han and Luke there. Love that. And then some stuff down there that no one reads. And the bio just says, Han Solo disguises himself in Stormtrooper armor after the Millennium Falcon is forced to land on the Death Star Battle Station. And then in quotes, it says, bring him on. I prefer a straight fight to all this sneaking around. All right, I'm going to get Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise open. And let's take a look at him. All right, so here is Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise out of the box. And let's get a good look at him. Start up here with his head. So this is a 2014 head. You know, this is before photo reel, but it's pretty good, I think. It's it's really not bad at all. Hair looks good. The eyes are really not bad. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this to be from so long ago. The mouth and nose, I mean, it's fine. The scar is there, it's barely there, but it's there. And if you compare it to the 50th anniversary, you know, carded one on the Power of the Force card back, it's really, not a huge difference, I don't think. I mean, it, yes, this one is better as, as far as it looking more lifelike. But this one from 2014, I'm happy with it. And then just below his head, around his neck, you have this ring. And it's supposed to be part of the undersuit. But this ring will move with the head. And it does cover up the hinge a little bit. You know, because you know, the head is just on a hinge and a ball. It does cover up the hinge a little bit, and it does make his neck look a little bit long. You know, the, the peg that the, that the head is sitting on, it does sort of elongate his neck a little bit. But it's not terrible, but yeah, that thing will move. Sometimes you have to manually straighten the thing out. And then from the neck down, it is a Stormtrooper. We've seen it before. So this is the old body, the old Stormtrooper body, which I don't think is terrible. You know, they got these deep cuts on the elbows. The elbows are actually pretty good. You got a pretty good uh, vertical hinge on the right wrist. I like it. Thermal detonator, got a little bit of paint back here. Just white, white. Legs look pretty good. Now, of course, comparing this to the new Stormtrooper body, you know, this one, you can see the pins, you know, but it's all right. It's okay. But it looks pretty good. The feet, so the hinges in the feet have yellowed over time. You know, see they're kind of yellow. And the pins have yellowed just a little bit. You know, this is an old figure. But it looks pretty good. Got a little holster back here. Yeah. It's Han Solo in a Stormtrooper outfit. And I like it. So there's not a lot I can say about the, the figure from the neck down. I mean, it's just armor. But, but let's run through articulation real quick. You know, this being on the old body. So you do have some side to side of the head. You have some very good down. Some up, but no till whatsoever. Shoulders, yeah, this is where this old body kind of falls flat, is in the shoulders. That's as far up as they go. But they do rotate around. And these elbows, yeah, you get way past 90. There's a swivel at the upper bicep. You've got a very good, well, it's tight. Yeah, you got a great vertical hinge on the right hand, yeah, especially in that direction. And you do have a side-to-side -side hinge on the left. This one is super tight, but yeah, there is a side-to-side -side hinge there. There's some swivel at the waist, and this one is clicky. Yeah. You've got a little bit of crunch, some pretty good back, and some, yeah, decent side to side. If you rotate the legs out just a little bit, they get up that far. There's an upper thigh swivel. Let me flip this holster out of the way. Yeah, you got double jointed knees, they get that far. The feet go down to there, they go up that far, and you've got some swivel at the ankle. So this being on the old Stormtrooper body, I think the articulation's pretty good, especially in those elbows. And as far as accessories, there's the E11 that he comes with. I think this looks good. Got some silver paint there. Very nice looking sculpt. That's what the other side looks like. Got your little short magazine there. Yeah, this looks good. It's a cool weapon. 
All right, so let's see how Han holds this. All right, that goes in very good. The trigger finger is pretty much right on the trigger, and I think he holds that very well in one hand. And this old Stormtrooper body, the elbows are pretty good, I think. You can get the blaster pretty much up to his face almost. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And just having it down like this at a relaxed stance, I think that looks nice. And if you straighten out the right wrist, you know, more like a ready stance. But you have to admit, two-handed aiming on an older body, I like this. And the next accessory we have is his helmet. And yes, it's a Stormtrooper helmet, but you can tell they had to lengthen it somewhere, you know, top to bottom, as well as front to back to make it fit on his head. So it's a little longer right here in the nose area, and the eyes are a little bit different. But the paint, front, back, and sides, all is <laughs> nicely done. All this looks great. The mouth grill is very good. The paint up here is very clean. This, that, these things, the gray, all this back here, super clean, cool looking helmet. But if you compare it to another Stormtrooper that's on this same body, you can tell the helmet is different. The eyes are definitely different. The nose, of course, is longer in here. You know, they had to lengthen it somewhere from top to bottom. And front to back, it's a little bit deeper front to back. But, I mean, it's, yes, you can, you know it's a Stormtrooper helmet. And it's, it's fine for what it is. And let's see how this goes on his noggin. Boink, okay. <laughs> That looks pretty good, especially from a distance on the shelf. Yeah, that's a Stormtrooper. I mean, yes, the helmet is a little bit different, but it's a Stormtrooper. Now, this one does suffer from bow-leggedness just a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that does not look bad. You know, with the helmet on, you, yeah, you've got yourself another Stormtrooper here. And the helmet does not impede neck movement. You know, you still got plenty of up and down, still have the side to side. <laughs> you still have plenty of range there. And I almost forgot, let's see how this holster works. Yeah, okay, that goes in very well. Super snug there. Yeah, no chance of that falling out. You got a little cut out there for the extended mag. That looks pretty good holstered. I don't think I'll ever put this blaster in this holster, but it's nice that it's there. And this large dog is always in his spot, right there in the way. And there he is on the shelf, and I must say, this looks pretty good. I like the fact that it breaks up the loops, you know, <laughs> had three loops in a row. Han being here, I like it. And I just have the helmets down there on the ground. Because of these shoulders, you can't bend the arm out um, very far to hold the helmet well and, and make it look natural. So I just stuck the helmets there for now, and you can tell that Han's helmet and Luke's helmet are pretty much identical as far as the shape. You know, they're a little bit taller uh, top to bottom, and that's just so it'll fit on their head, but they look fine there. But <laughs> That is a good-looking Han Solo to be from 2014. I am very, very happy with this figure. I like this. Yeah, thanks, Dave. All right, so I was kind of screwing around with this left arm a little bit, and I got the helmet like this. I don't think that looks too bad, but yeah, I just want to throw this in here. That's not a bad look. So final verdict, I like this figure. I think it looks fine for what it is and, and for how old it is. I mean, from 2014, you cannot argue, this face is not bad at all to be as old as it is. I am fine with this. The neck thing here, the little ring, can be a little squirrely sometimes, but it's all right. But from the neck down, I mean, the armor, it's a Stormtrooper. It's, it looks just like it's supposed to look. I have no problem with anything. I like the elbows on this old body. I think they work very well. Yeah, I mean, top to bottom, it is a pretty good looking Han Solo in the Stormtrooper disguise. And the helmet, yes, it does look a little off. Yes, because they had to lengthen it here. It's a little deeper front to back, but I mean, overall, it's a Stormtrooper helmet. We all know what it is. I totally understand them having to change it just a little bit to fit on his head. So I'm, I'm cool with this, but you know, the paint on it is very clean. I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Cool figure, very cool figure. I'm so happy to have this. I, the fact that I only have one other blue line figure, this this is very nice. Thanks again, Dave. I know you're watching. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Very pleased with it, but I want to hear from you guys. So please comment below and let me know what you think of this Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.